Ant, Hooky CO. Customizes the Keikosa electric bike. The compact and modular nature of electric drivetrains makes them well suited to small utility motorcycles. But surprisingly few manufacturers have jumped on this bandwagon. Two names spring to mind. UBCO in New Zealand, and the premium Swedish electric bike brand, Cake. Cake's delightfully quirky OSA is a $9,500 electric utility bike that can be configured with a vast array of accessories, like luggage carriers, cargo racks and even a trailer. But despite the endless setup possibilities, the crew at Hooky Co. in Dresden saw potential for more. The team bought a pair of OSAs for the shop last year. An OSA Plus and an OSA Lite. The OSA Plus has a 10 kW motor that's good for a top speed of 90 km per hour in a city range of 84 km. The cheaper OSA Lite's 4 kW motor can only manage 45 km per hour, but bumps up the city range to 92 km. Both bikes share the same chassis. After putting enough miles into their OSAs to figure out what their specific needs were, Hookie started throwing concepts around. The idea was to retain the bike's modular nature, but tailor it to their own style. And make it look a whole lot ratter in the process. The briefing was clear to not build an OSA that looks like a motorcycle, says Hooky founder, Nico Muller. We didn't want to add a fake fuel tank or fake pipes. We wanted to give the OSA more a sporty, young and an arty look. The OSA's main frame backbone acts as an anchor point for its accessories, so Hooky decided to exploit this. They designed a new aluminum body panel to sit on the frame and wrap around it, then 3D printed brackets to attach it to the backbone. The new bodywork has a big impact on the OSA's aesthetics, and creates a canvas to add color or art. But the front part of the bodywork also adds an extra hit of modularity, by providing discrete attachment points for a pair of bags from the German outdoor brand Heimplanet. Hooky has tweaked the OSA's ergonomics too, with a clever adjustment system for the foot pegs. The OEM pegs are now mounted on a pair of movable plates, which in turn bolt to custom-made backing plates, attached to the bottom of the frame. The new saddle is long enough for the rider to shift forward and backwards on, and can take a passenger in a pinch. Covered in Alcantara, it's also slimmer than the stock unit, which brings the seat height down. Sitting on top of the battery is another custom add-on. A cargo basket that's held in place by the bike's battery strap. It consists of an aluminum body, with a tough elastic band running across the top to keep goods in place. Up front, Hooky unbolted the OSA's original headlight, and bolted on a custom-made bracket to hold a Koso Thunderbolt LED headlight. They also installed their frozen grips, new mirrors, and their rapid LED turn signals, mounted stealthily to the handlebars. Out back is a custom frame, cap, with two LED taillights embedded into it. One of the OSA's body panels is powder-coated white, and wrapped in color block vinyls. The other one was painted by Nico, and reads, whenever things get complicated, ride and play hooky. Both bikes are sporting a set of all-terrain Bridgestone wreck tires, measuring 14 times 5.4. It's a tight fit, but Nico assures us there's no rubbing, and it means the crew can take their OSAs anywhere, which is exactly what they've been doing. Hookie will be building a limited number of these to order, and, since there's no cutting or welding involved, offering a kit too. They've christened their OSA design ant, after the strength of nature's hardest working insect. An answer team players, says Nico, just like us.